Hello guys, how are you? The Code Tolik is here. I continue series on Ito Framework and in this video I want to show you how to create and how to work with layouts. Layouts are located under Views and Layouts folder. By default, the application uh, searches for main PHP under this Layouts folder. If you want to change this, you need to go to the config and web PHP and change from here the layout. Okay, so we can set here base, and right now the application will search base PHP under layouts folder. Here it is. If you want to change the path to the layouts folder, you can also do right here. Just you need to specify layout path. Okay, so I'm going to create new layout base PHP, so I'm going to leave this um, right here. If I don't want to change the layout globally and I want to change for a particular controller, I don't need this layout here and I need to write it in the controller. I need to set the property layout is base. Okay. Okay, let's leave it as it is. We have an error, good, and we need to create this base PHP. Okay, let me generate HTML boilerplate code. And this is already layout. So we can configure uh, some things here like the language, UTF characters, meta tag information and so on. But I'm going to leave it as it is right now. And let's see the response. So empty page. So it renders layout, but layout doesn't use the current page's content. Okay. The layout gets basically two variables in it. Let me describe these variables right here. One variable is content, which is a string and which is the page content. And the second, lay, second variable is um, this variable, which is instance of eFebView. Okay, so we have access on these variables. Now, if I want to output the content, which is a string, this is how my page looks like. So it outputs the content. Okay, that's good if we can navigate between pages like site about and we see the content. Of course, we don't see any kind of styles yet. So the recommended way, uh, the recommended structure of the layout is uh, the following. We need to use um, the following uh, view methods. We need to call the following view methods. Begin page before the uh, doc type. So that basically called triggers a before uh, before page begin event and later you can listen on this event so it's it's recommended way of um, creating a layout so this end page in the same way we need to begin the body and call end body okay that's good and we need to also call head method so the body in the head methods basically uh, register JavaScript and CSS if they are registered um, using the Asset Manager. Okay, so uh, right now we don't see any changes yet uh, because we don't register any CSS or JavaScript, but I'm going to use Asset Bundle. We have not talked Asset Bundles actually uh, yet, so for now I'm going to uh, just quickly explain that it just registers CSS and JavaScript. Uh, and I'm going to take this from the main PHP and register in the current um, in the current layout and let's import this class up assets asset up asset okay let's go to the browser and we see bootstrap styles if we go to the contact form we will see the bootstrap uh, is included okay okay let's see the page source and this is now how my page looks like and additionally in my layout i want to register CSR meta tags. Okay, so register CSR meta tags, and uh, in the following area, it will display two meta tags CSR param and CSR token. So these uh, tags are basi basically necessary for, uh, for making uh, post requests and uh, for form submission. So uh, you need to avoid cross-site request forgery, so that's why you should register CSRF tags. Okay, so we have layout, we have, um, we have content, output content. Let's put this content in container, bootstrap container, and, and here it is. 
Okay, and in this layout, what normally uh, we should do is to create header. And let me just write here, header goes here. And we need to create also footer, okay? Sometimes we can have sidebar also. Okay, perfect, let's see in the browser. Header goes here, footer goes here. Nice. Now let's say that I want to create a different layout with which uh, doesn't have header and footer, okay? So I want to create like a login layout, okay? So which will be used only for login. So if I go to the login page right now, this header and footer are still visible, okay? So I need to create this layout right now. Let me just copy everything from uh, base layout, put it right here. Um, I need to remove this header and I need to remove this footer. And I need to use this login layout for login action only. So let's go to the site controller and in the login I need to change the layout into login. Okay, so let's see in the browser we don't see header and footer on login but we see it on contact. Great, but look at two layout files. I repeated the same code twice. So the head and the um, the end body and begin body and so on. So I repeat it twice. So that's not a good idea and layouts can be nested in a framework. So basically I can delete everything like uh, the following content. So basically I need to create one layout. Let me create it and call it like clear PHP and let me move everything there. And I don't need the header, I don't need footer, I don't need even container, and that's really basic version of layout. And I will change this title also. So that's a really basic version of layout, and in base and in login I want to use this layout as a basic version. Okay, so let's go to the base PHP first, and I need to delete the following code. I don't want also to register the app asset, I don't want this... Um, end body and end page and I want only header content and footer this is the base uh, PHP but I want to uh, inherit from the clear layout so for this I use this begin content uh, method and I pass here uh, the layout name uh, which I want to use and inject my code in the layout okay so the layout um, file basically which I want to use here is app uh, views layouts clear.php. So I begin this layout and then I want to end this layout and content. Okay. And let's see in the browser. So let's go to the contact. And here I see an error. Um, what happened here is that I don't need to echo anything. I just need to begin content and end content. So, and here it is. I see header goes here and footer goes here. And let's go to the login layout and it looks fine, but we need to convert this login layout into the begin using begin content and end content. So let's copy this now into login PHP and let's just remove the header and footer and let's even remove the container or let's have it so that the login form should be in the center okay so and here's the result so i don't see the header and footer but i have this um registering of uh, csrf meta tags head begin body end body in one place and i use this layout as a parent layout in uh, child layouts and basically uh, so the rendering goes like this. So first the content of the login PHP, uh, not this one, but the site login PHP. So first this content is evaluated and it's passed to its layout, like the login layout. Then this content is evaluated and it's passed to the clear PHP. And then finally it renders the content. Okay, let me add now, uh, let me improve this layout and add their sidebar also. So for this I'm going to add two bootstrap columns call um, SM3 and 9 and the content goes basically in the SM9 
and in the sidebar I just want to render an unordered list with three items let me give it to um, bootstrap class list group and list group items okay so here is uh, here are, is my sidebar and let's see in the browser uh, it's not visible for a login layout because it's written in the base so let's go to the contact and here I see the sidebar okay and let's imagine the following case that um, I want the sidebar on every page but uh, I want to add some additional information um, only in a, on about page like before the sidebar so if I go to the about PHP I want to um, display some information in the sidebar but I want this content to be uh, described in the about PHP okay so this can be done in E with blocks let's start creating our blocks okay so I'm going to uh, create block with begin block um, and you give here ID like sidebar okay and then finally you call uh, this end block okay and here you specify your content like let's create div and uh, content from about page okay and in the layout in the base layout I want to take this block okay so right, right here under the unordered list let me create a um, HR and here we need to check if there exists something in the block okay um, if this the view has blocks array and if blocks sidebar exists let's just output it this blocks sidebar okay and And that's it so let's go to the about PHP and here I see content from about page let's go to the contact and I don't see this I see this horizontal line so basically I can put this horizontal line here if the blocks if cyber blocks exist only in this case so I don't see this HR if I go back to the about I see this and in the following way you can add your desired content in the contact or in the index or in the in, in other places basically okay so right now the index page also renders in the with the sidebar of course we don't want this so that's why you need to have uh, multiple layouts in your application so the um, home page will be a full stretched layout and there the nested pages the inner pages will be with a sidebar so we can basically have multiple blocks so I, I described here one block sidebar but I can describe like a footer footer uh, block also and output that in the um, footer area okay so let's observe right now the main PHP which comes with the basic installation so here we have the same structure but it uses this uh, for language it uses e app language and that's good practice to do it so in the base PHP not in the base but in the clear PHP we should have here we should output the language from the current applications language and the same happens for um, for charset so we need to do the same thing then it uh, uses the current views title but encodes that to make sure that it doesn't have some um, invalid tags okay then the same thing happens we it registers head begin body finally below the it has this end body uh, and here this nav bar and nav are just widgets we haven't talked about widgets and uh, we will we will definitely talk about it but these are for the nav bar and navigation okay and then uh, another widget is breadcrumb another widget for alert and finally it outputs this content variable and also it uses this shared uh, variable breadcrumbs which basically is set in the about PHP or in any other views this params breadcrumb is an array and its last child will be this title and it basically renders this um, breadcrumb let's go to the uh, controller site controller and change this uh, layout into main okay so let's go to the about and here it renders this breadcrumb and this happens with this shared 
um, shared variables among views okay that's it for this video uh, guys thanks for watching thumbs up subscribe share and see you next time